Evening, everyone. It's uh, 549, and it's Thursday evening on the 20th of February. This is your video number 1116-1116, and it's a closing comment for today's extravaganza. Uh, we started with the claims this morning at uh, both of them up, both initial up 55,000 and continuing up 84,000 wasn't overwhelming. Philly Fed was higher and uh, later on in the day we had home sales for December which were down uh, not really for the economics of it but for the supply of it. Uh, and even though housing prices continued to rise strongly. Uh, in any event, um, you know, usually I have a disaster du jour and a home run of the day. I gave up looking for the home run on the day, and we have two disasters. The first, of course, is Peloton, which had a range today of 3264 to 23 and a quarter. The last was 2424, down 759 or 24%. Um, you know, this stock has really gotten killed. Uh, today they came out and said it was actually a CNBC um, report midday uh, that talked about the fact that um, they had uh, ceased production for a while on their products because of waning demand. Uh, the stock had been stopped on the 5% uh, down rule, um, and then it was stopped news pending, and when it reopened, uh, it was ugly. The next one was Netflix, which reported today after the close, and the numbers actually were a beat. Uh, revenues in line, um, the uh, new subscribers was a beat on what the company had projected, although not a beat, not by much, uh, from analysts' projections. Uh, the stock had closed at 508.25, down 761, or 1.4%, and then just collapsed 406.11 is the low. The last is 407.79, down 108 spot 7, or 21%. So a real debacle there. Uh, the call is going on now, but I don't see the stock uh, rising. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's sitting, you know, within $2 of its low. And Peloton, by the way, at 24 is down, I'm sure you all recall, when it was the flavor of the day, week, and month uh, for COVID, stay at home, uh, was 171. So another debacle. Um, on the upside today, we had um, Union Pacific and Travelers both beat uh, Union Pacific closed 242.07, up 258, even in this market. And uh, Travelers closed 165.18, up 511, or 3.2%. Uh, both UAL and American Airlines, which were unchanged to slightly higher pre-market this morning, both finished down about 3%. Uh, UAL down 3.4%, American down 3.2%. The range on the market today was phenomenal. Uh, we closed pretty much right on the low, down 313 in the Dow after seeing it up 460. The NASDAQ closed on the low, down 186 and a quarter, 1.3%. After being up 300. And the one that amazed me was the S&P, which was up 70 and finished down 50. And just so you know, I've been talking a lot about what happens when we have a 
uh, break of the December low in January, how that sets us up for the year. Uh, today was the day for the S&P to break that low. Uh, right now, the only one that has not broken it is the Dow, closed 34,715, which is 715 um, above the December low. The Comp, the NASDAQ 100, the Russell have all broken those numbers to the downside. The Russell was down almost 39. That was the big loser, 1.88%. And transports, with the help of the railroads, kind of cushioning it a bit, down only 66.44 or 0.43. The VIX got uh, closed at 25.59, up 174, and that is getting us towards those spike highs that we've seen in the uh, 27, 28, 30 range. Um, and I'm sure that that'll be tested tomorrow. Uh, NYSE, 3 to 1 down. NASDAQ, 2.8 to 1 down. Volume, 5 billion, up a little. Dow Jones stocks, Dow Jones, 30. 26 down, 4 up. The big loser was Home Depot taking 66 Dow points off and Travelers adding 34 Dow points. So that's where we were. Uh, the chart on the screen is the oil. Uh, it got up to 87. That's a new recovery high um, and came all the way back down to 84.20 managed to close down only 25 cents. Um, as I said, you know, it depends upon how we consolidate in here. And I said my number at the bottom was uh, 83.50 about, um, because that would keep it above all of the close. There are most of the closes here on the last top. And it came right down to the five-day moving average at 84.22 and rallied. So... We'll see how that works tomorrow. Um, I did a video on the precious metals. The gold was down 60 cents today. Bitcoin was up 1,100. Uh, the dollar was up 22 basis points. And uh, the bonds were down um, 3.30 seconds or a little under an eighth. This is a very tough market. I expect it to open down. I've been talking about this now since November through December as to what the setup was that we were making new highs and the setup for the first for January and the first quarter were ugly. This is what ugly is and it may in fact get uglier. All right everyone I'll be back in the morning. I hope you all had a good day.